everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Margaret, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Today, we are going to be diving into JVN hair care, specifically their like styling products. Here's the plan for today. We're gonna talk about the products that I've tried, and then we're gonna look at some footage from yesterday where I was using the products incorporated into like my regular styling routine, so with my other stylers. And then today I'm going to style my hair with just the JVN products and see what it does for the waves, because normally I use like a couple different stylers so i wanted to see what it looked like incorporated into my current routine but i also want to see what it can do on its own let's talk about kind of the origin of the brand first of all jonathan Jonathan Van Ness is the founder of this brand. I honestly don't know much about him. I think he was on the original Queer Eye. We love that. We love gay here on this channel. Hi, gay. Hi, gay. <laughs> there is a skincare brand called Biosance, which is actually like one of my favorite skincare brands. It was founded in a biotech lab in um, Emeryville, so like Oakland, California. Jonathan Van Ness was actually like the face of Biosance a couple years ago, I think. He worked with them, um, was very into their company, what they stood for. And now his brand is kind of like the sister brand to Biosance and was founded in the same lab. The JVN claim to fame and their whole deal is hemi squalane, which is basically an ingredient that they created to rival silicones. Silicones do create kind of like a coating over your hair. So if you are using products with silicones, I personally think it's okay as long as you know how to like clarify your hair and really get rid of the buildup. Because if you don't, then the silicone is just gonna keep building and building and building upon itself on your hair. I'll put up a little chart right here that they've created about kind of like the um, differences between and comparison between hemisqualine and uh, silicones. And they're basically saying that it's an ingredient that reduces frizz, increases shine, prevents breakage, reduces damage. I also believe like protects color from fading. This is a brand that you can find at Sephora by Sephora standards. It's considered a clean brand. So formulated with better ingredients and a planet positive brand. So a brand that is making sustainable packaging, harvesting ingredients sustainably and giving back to the planet. So we love that. So that's the deal with like the brand as a whole. Now let's get into some of the products that I've tried. I haven't tried the any of the like shampoo, conditioner, anything like that. I've really only tried like the styling products. So the first one I don't have with me, but I'll put up a little picture. Ah, it's the like scalp treatment oil that you use before you shower. It gets rid of all the buildup on your hair and it also helps stimulate the hair follicles to encourage hair growth and stuff like that. And I've used this product once, I think maybe twice, and I really liked it. It only sits on your head for a couple minutes before you get in the shower. You'd like kind of massage it into your scalp. And then when you shower, it just like really gets rid of all the buildup. The day that I used this, my hair was definitely feeling like itchy, like it needed a little bit of like a clarifying moment. And it, it felt way better when I got out of the shower. And also I believe this product is $28. Something I really like about this brand is I think everything's at a really great price point. So that one, yes, I really liked that one. This is the JVN Complete Conditioning Mist. This product I believe full size is $18. It's like a more lightweight conditioner. I think like other leave-in conditioners, this is more of like a universal product. Like someone with more fine hair could use this. Someone with thicker hair can hopefully use it. But we're gonna see how it goes. This is the Complete Instant Recovery Serum. And I think that this is a really unique product. I really like this one. So this is a leave-in serum that has heat protectant in it, which I love. I love a heat protectant that also does something else. Like I hate having a product that's only a heat protectant just so it's not like another added step that's like, oh, just heat protectant. 
the difference between the these two and why you would like kind of want to use them together is if you're someone who like just strictly wants hydration this is the one for you this one is going to help more if you have any damage in your hair from color treating your hair from um, heat styling your hair this one is actually going to help with the recovery of damage whereas this one is more strictly hydrating i like that in terms of a serum this has like a little bit of a more thicker cream consistency. When I hear serum, part of me thinks of the Olaplex serum, the number nine, I believe. And that one is more like a true serum where I feel like this is a little bit more of like a cream. I think this one's also $28. And the last thing that I have here in front of me is the complete air dry cream. Mine's a little, a little baby. The little baby size is $10. So this is a leave-in cream that you can use on curly hair, straight hair, wavy hair, whatever. And you can air dry or blow dry. So today I might try to air dry the whole time and see how that goes. Again, all of this stuff is infused with the hemi, hemi squalane. I'm worried that I'm saying it wrong. Hemi squalane? Hemi squalane. I don't know. It has that hemi squalane. Hemi squalane. <laughs> this is the thing I've used most, I think, out of all this stuff. And I've really been enjoying it so far. I feel like I've really noticed a reduction in frizz when I've been using these products. And I've kind of like done a couple different types of styling. And I'm excited to try again today with just these products. This mini size is $10, but the full size is $24. So like I said, a really great price point across the whole brand. And I have to say overall, I've been really enjoying my experience starting to use these products. I'm excited to continue using them. I also want to mention that these two I purchased myself and this product was gifted to me by one of the representatives for JVN who came into my Sephora so that she doesn't know I'm making this video. If you're watching it, hi. Oh, and then the other product we have to talk about, the Shine Drops. I'll put up a little picture. <laughs> is that where Brewski is? <laughs> So the shine drops are a really nice post styling shine thing. They just like smooth any frizz or flyaways that you might have, increase the shine in the hair. And the thing that I really like about this product so far is that it's almost like a dry oil. So um, I really like the consistency of this product. It's not heavy. It doesn't weigh your hair down. You could definitely use it even if you have more fine hair. And I think that one's around $22. That's the deal with the products that I have. I'm going to go shower right now. I'm only going to condition because yesterday I shampooed and stuff like that like that and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna style my hair with these little babies right here and then while I'm in the shower right now I'm gonna roll the footage from yesterday where I styled it use these products in like my regular routine and showed you how it looked kind of throughout the day so let's do it mm. All right, I just got out of the shower. Today I'm gonna style my hair with my JVN products, but I'm also gonna add in the other normal stylers that I use. So we have JVN conditioning mist, air dry cream, and serum. And then I'm also gonna be using my Wave Tech from Ex Mondo, my Pattern Medium Hold Gel, and my Pattern Argan Oil. So I'm gonna style my hair like I normally would and then I'm gonna plop for like 10 or 20 minutes. And then I'm probably gonna do a combination of air drying and diffusing. So I will check back with some results. This is what we're working with after the plop, after the product. Um, so far, so good. I scrunched a little bit more gel in after I took it out of the plop. Now I'm gonna do my makeup, let it air dry a little bit and then probably diffuse some and we'll see. It's about 10 hours since I finished my hair this morning. I just got back from work and I am really happy with how it looks still. I think it looks super cute and bouncy and curly and I've been touching it nonstop all day. Like I've been flipping it around and kind of throwing it around. So I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but it's okay. It's okay. 
I get stressed out a lot about like my curls looking so perfect and like I think I need to let a little bit of that go because they're never gonna look the same they're never gonna look completely even I just feel like it's held up really well throughout the day I feel like sometimes I get to work and it just like slowly descends into like a giant ball of frizz throughout the day and for the amount honestly that I've been touching and playing with my hair I feel like the frizz is really minimal and I'm really happy with how this all wore today. My hair feels hydrated. It doesn't feel weighed down. We're gonna see how it goes tomorrow when I style it without my other stylers. Hello, I'm back. I just showered. We're gonna mm, 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 get into it. I have my Denman brush, my wide tooth comb, and my microfiber hair towel. I don't think I've talked about this on YouTube yet. I held on on getting a microfiber hair towel for kind of a while. I was using a cotton t-shirt for probably like over a year. And I have to say the microfiber towel really does make a difference. So I do recommend that. Sorry, just saying. In the shower, I used the Briogeo Kiwi Avocado Mask. Do people want an updated like hair routine because it was like a year ago since I made my last like current routine video and I feel like my routine looks nothing like that anymore. Is that something people care about still? Let me know. I forgot to mention, I did squeeze the excess water out of my hair. Curly haired, wavy haired people, I don't want any sass in the comments about the fact that I did that. I love the curly wavy hair community online. I think it's a fun place to be, but some of y'all get really spicy about the way people do their hair. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, okay. I'm gonna spray this into my hand. I pretty much do this with most of my spray products. I don't like spraying it directly on my hair. I don't know. I don't know why, and I'm just raking that in. Okay, this is my only gripe with this so far. When I start styling my hair and then I need to go back for more, this is like so slippery because of the conditioner I have on my hand that I can't like, <gasps> see what I mean? You see what I mean? Oh God. Spray products aren't my favorite because I feel like no matter what spray product it is, it just like coats my bathroom floor. <laughs> Then it makes my bathroom floor all sticky and slippery and ugh, makes me mad. So, how were you guys? Oh my god, have I not made a video since, have I not made a video since hitting 500? Thank you so much for 500 subscribers. That's literally insane. I started YouTube just like for funsies and I was like, I don't really care if anyone watches, it's sort of just like a fun creative product, project. And now there's 500 people subscribed. That's like so crazy. So thank you very much. I was very, very excited when that happened. Anyway, so now I'm actually gonna mix the serum and the air dry cream together, I think is the plan. Okay, so that's how much I have of the serum. And then that's the air dry cream right there. Again, I'm gonna rake that through. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the air dry cream. And this time I'm gonna like smooth it on. And then again for the other side. Also the smell of these products. Y'all know I'm very particular about smells and I really like the way these products smell. They smell fresh, they smell clean, they smell unintrusive. <laughs> Thumbs up for me on the fragrance, the fragrance. Okay, now we're gonna get to some styling. So I'm gonna give it another brush through to make sure all the product is like evenly distributed. I'm gonna start brushing from underneath. Something I've been doing more recently is brushing back and it's been giving me a lot more volume. So that's cool. Now I'm gonna scrunch and I can definitely feel that there's less product in my hair than usual. I've got less of that squishing sound. I'm gonna do some upside down scrunching. Also, do you like my shirt? I got it in London. This is what we're working with. 
I'm going to plop for like 20 minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, it's actually been a little over 20, 20 minutes, but we're gonna take it out. Okay, looking good, looking good. This is what we have. And I think my plan is just to air dry the rest of it. I'll see how long it takes for this to air dry, what it looks like, and I'll see you then. It is two hours later. I would say my hair is like 90% dry. It's still not all the way dry. Um, and um, mixed thoughts. It's obviously not as curly as yesterday. Diffusing is gonna help enhance curl a lot. Uh, gel is gonna help with the hold, but this is extremely like soft and touchable, which I really like. I will say the frizz factor is not my favorite. I'm gonna put the shine drops in and then see how I feel because I do have a little like sample of the shine drops. I'm not mad at this. If I am like on a day where I really just like want to wash my hair and go and not have to worry about it, I'm totally happy using these products. Like look at this side. That one's so cute. Ob this is my bad side. These are the, this is the side of my hair that always looks worse. And then this side always looks better. I'll be right back. Okay, just use some of the drops and you can see it definitely helps with shine, with definition. And so those I definitely need to get. I need to get my hands on those shine drops for sure. Maybe I'll close the video out when I get home tonight. We'll see if anything crazy happens the next couple hours while I'm at work. But yeah, this is the status for now at about 90% dry. All right, I'm back. It's a couple hours later. It is eight o'clock right now. I think we last left off around three o'clock-ish. So this is how it's worn a couple hours. I was at work. I was throwing it around a lot. I usually pull it over quite often. And uh, I mean... I'm really impressed. I obviously don't have as much definition as I did yesterday, but I still have some waves, some definition for sure. And the other thing that's nice about this product specifically is that it absolutely leaves no crunch. Some curl creams, wave creams, leave-in stylers will kind of leave that hardened, crunchy thing that you have to kind of shake out. And... Have you missed everyone on YouTube? Do you miss being on YouTube? I feel like no one even watches for me. They just watch for Brewski. Okay, anyway, what I was saying, sometimes leave-in styler, cream stylers like this will leave a crunchy hold, kind of like a cast that you have to break up with your hands, with an oil, something like that. This doesn't leave any crunch whatsoever. Overall thoughts, I really, really love all three of these products. I'm going to continue using them. I'm going to use them on their own like this. I'm going to use it like I did yesterday where I kind of include some of my other products to really amp up and define my waves. And I'm so happy with this brand, how it's starting, where it's going. I think there's some really awesome people on their team. I think they have a great mission, a great price point. And I think that while the brand is newer, they're totally headed in the right direction. I would definitely recommend checking out these products. I'm excited to hopefully try some others soon, some like shampoo, conditioner, maybe one of the masks. Let me know down below what your thoughts are. Have you tried JVN? Are you interested? Definitely let me know down below. And yeah, so that is going to be it for me today. I hope you're having a great day or night wherever you are. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!